Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be a chatty video. I'm going to talk about some things I bought, some things that happened, and I'm even going to mention COVID, like a COVID test. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks. Thank you so much for it, for joining me. It has been a crazy, a crazy week and a half. I'll tell you, a lot of things have been going on in my life. It's been hectic, I'm trying to get ready a little bit for the holidays, but being so unsure, like many of you, what is what are the holidays going to look like in COVID era? You know what I mean? How do we know wh whether we're going to be able to even pull anything off? I ended up getting a potential exposure to COVID-19 at work and where one of our my coworkers was exposed and we had to shut everything down and have everything sanitized. So I ended up having to have a COVID test and I was really nervous. I was really nervous. I've heard all these stories about the COVID test, how horrible the COVID test is, all the different things that happen and they stick this thing way up your nose and it goes down your throat and you choke and you cry, your eyes water. Some people faint. <laughs> Anyways, I ended up going to a clinic and I, you had, I mean, it took, because, because I had no symptoms, it, it, um, they don't rush you right in. So it took almost um, two days for me to get that appointment. But I went into the clinic. I had to wait. It was kind of really super different. I had to wait. I checked in online on my phone. I had to wait out in the parking lot till they called me in. They called me in. They took my temperature, the, you know, the whole nine yards. Then I went back into the room. And I, I mean, I sat there and the, and the nurse, I think it was a nurse. Uh, anyway, she came in and um, she asked me a few questions, filled out a little bit more on her chart. And then um, she took this big long thing out. And I was like, oh, no. And, and she said, oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I think I had totally wigged myself out, no pun intended, wigged myself out, but I think I had totally wigged myself out about it. It was not that bad. I couldn't believe it. She had, she swiped my nostril, she swiped the other nostril before I knew it was over. I mean, I'm like going, I, I thought maybe she was just preparing my nose for the real test. And she, oh no, that was it. You know, she went up. I just didn't feel a darn thing, so you know, other than a chilliness inside my nose when she was swiping it. So then it was, of course, nervous, like waiting, you know, what are the test results going to be? And I had to wait. I took the, I didn't take the instant, you know, how you in 20 minutes you can find out your results because everyone says it's not as 100% accurate. And I really want it to be accurate with holidays coming up, exposure to my mom, to my family members and all that. I didn't want to play around with it. So... I ended up um, taking the long time, long, the test that took a long time, and it, it was like three days later when I finally got my results. And my results, thankfully, were po were positive. Oh my God, they they were positive in the sense that they were negative. You know what I mean? Um, so thank goodness for that. That made me feel a whole lot better. It's been crazy. So I've been doing some holiday shopping online for my grandkids and just trying to prep for that. And I think I said in my last video, we were going to try to do Thanksgiving here. We still are. I just don't know how many people are going to come because of the COVID restrictions. So we're going to do that. And I got a turkey. I didn't get a really big one. Um, the big ones were all sold out. Can you believe it? So I've got like a 16 pounder, which I think will be okay because at most, I think we might have 11 people at most or 12, but I think it's going to be closer to maybe nine or 10 and I'm not sure yet. So did that and got all my stuff prepped. And this week we're going to be doing, you know, the, the pre, like I'll do, I'll peel all the potatoes and put it in a pot of water and Jay will do the squash and cut that up and put it in the refrigerator so that on the day of we have very little prep work. So we try to do as much prep ahead of time as possible. So one of the things I wanted to talk about, you all know I cut my hair and when I cut my hair I said I need something to help me manage it. So I ended up and this is the Con Air Infanti Pro and I'm going to superimpose as I'm talking about this show you a little bit what I have. The video will run side by side, but it's the Conia Pro and it has a, a barrel, a smaller barrel, about an inch and a half. And then it has a bigger barrel attachment, which is I think two inches. So, you know, kind of ignore the brush of the bristles and just look at the size of the barrel. And 
one of the things that I really like about this, and I've used it to style my hair all week, I really like the fact that the, the brush spins. And when I, when I went to go buy a brush, I really wasn't even thinking about a spinning brush. I didn't think, oh, that was like nothing on my horizon. I hadn't even realized that was a possibility. But as you can see here, these have two little knobs and it'll spin the brush one way and the other one way will spin the brush to the other way. And then it has the adjustments here of off, low, high, and cool. So I like the fact that it has all those adjustments. And of course, you know, the fact that the cord spins here makes it super nice. So with the spinning brush bristles, which I didn't even know, like I said, it was actually Sheila from Simply Sheila that when I was telling her I was looking for a brush, she told me about the one she had. And there was a few others that, you know, people had had brushes and all that. But the one that I had put in my Amazon cart did not have a spinning brush head. And she said, you really want to think about doing that. And so I did. And I'll tell you, I love having a spinning brush head. So when this thing spins, I'm going to spin it and turn it on. You can hear it. And then the other way. So if you were going to be going this way or you wanted to go back the other way, this, you can just hold it. You can just basically hold it. And then depending on which way you do, you hardly have to move your, your brush which I think is like super awesome. I think it's super awesome. And I also thought this would be really cool for styling wigs as well as my shorter hair. So I bought that, I, um, I ordered it from Amazon, then I ended up canceling it from Amazon because the secondary seller never shipped it. It kept saying it was arriving and I said, the heck with it. I found out that I could get it in Kohl's. And so my Kohl's and Plastow only had one left. So I ordered it online. They, of course, my 30% off coupon didn't work, but still it was it was the same price, maybe a little bit lower than my Amazon. But because I ordered it online and they had one left, I could go pick it up so I didn't have to deal with any kind of uh, shipping. And because I ordered it online, the instant savings, I cannot never say that right, Raditon or whatever, you know, kicked in. So I was able to get a rebate on that, which I thought was super cool. So some of you asked how I like the brush, what kind of brush I have, and I... I do like the brush a lot. I'm so glad I bought it, especially with my short hair. Now, granted, I'm wearing a wig, and, um, you know, this wig has, like, sort of the really shattered, shattered edges, which is kind of cool. Um, it's supposed to look that way. It's supposed to look chunky and shattered and unfiltered in many ways, you know. This is Raquel Welch's real deal. I love it. I purchased this wig, and... I really love it. This is in shade of cappuccino. Anyways, I've already done a review on this wig, but I just wanted to mention what I had on. But that hot air brush will work really well with wigs as well. Couple things too, you know, guys, holiday sales. You know, there's some really amazing, amazing holiday sales going on right now. I'm gonna link all the information below, but a lot of you know that I have fallen in love with Skin Store. And I have a 25% off savings in Skin Store in most of their products, not all, but the coupon is just Monica, M-O-N-I-K-A, Monica, and I'll link it all below with the link to it, but Skin Store has a ton of different products, and they have some awesome sales. If there's a higher sale, I think the higher sale will kick in, so go ahead and use the link. I don't, I don't get compensated for it at all, but they have sent me some free products that I totally love. The other thing I want to mention is City Beauty. Many people have talked about City Beauty. They use City Beauty. There's a lot of products in City Beauty that I love. And there's some that haven't been all that great for me. But there's a lot that I love. So City Beauty has a, a Black Friday Cyber Special that is going on basically from the day after Thanksgiving, the 26th, I think, until the 30th. And um, I've got a coupon code down below for City Beauty. I believe most everything on their website, if you follow through the link that I have, most everything is 50% off. I'm like, holy moly. Those things that I love about City Beauty, the products that I love are going in my own cart. I can take advantage of my own coupon code, you know, as well. So I'll have that link down below. 50% off of most products. I think it's amazing. 
trophy skin is another one if you know someone that is looking for red light therapy and i've talked about my rejuvelite md system uh, i've talked about a couple of different trophy skin products that i really like i use the spatula or i use the microderma abrasion there's a number of different trophy skin products there's one that i still that i want to get so bad i haven't got it yet um, but i i think i might put that on my list because Trophy Skin for their cyber sale, which is, I think, now through the 7th. You can go ahead and check it out. They have 50% off of skin care and most accessories, not any of the devices like the Rejuvelite or the Microderm Abrasion. They actually have another code for that for 35% off of those, which is, to me, really cool. So the 50% off on all their skincare and accessories, that coupon code is grateful. I've got the link below. And the other one for the devices is thankful. And I'm really thankful because I really think I'm gonna get that other device I want. I really do. And I'll tell you, my Trophy Skin, all but one of the products I have for Trophy Skin actually sent, was, were purchased by me. Only one was sent to me complimentary. The rest I've purchased. And uh, Built Bars, you guys know I love my Built Bars. I just placed another order of Built Bars. Jay loves Built Bars, they don't last long in this house. They are a no guilt pleasure, a no guilt pleasure. They're having an amazing sale and that sale is basically, it's a Black Friday Cyber Monday special where you know use my coupon code when you go to buy and it you will still get 28 percent off even if you follow my link and use my code monica 10 it'll override it for the black friday cyber monday sale but 28 percent off of your built bar order i think that's amazing so anyways i feel like a commercial telling you that but like like you you know i'm looking to save money and some things I am blessed in many ways to have products sent to me, but then there are things that I spend a lot of money on to buy myself. And I really, really, really love my Trophy Skin products and all of these. And the Skin Store, I think they've blown me away. They have blown me away when it, I never even heard of Skin Store. And when they first sent me, I got the new face from them. And there's another item that I have in my cart for Skin Store as well that I have not pulled the switch for, but it, it's like, it's part of New Face, but it's a device that just concentrates on those deeper wrinkles, which I have a lot of. So um, I really, really, really like it. And I think, hey, you know, the holidays, we all, we all can use saving money and um, I love saving money. So uh, many of you have asked me about the concealer. So my next video, I'm going to, I've actually got a couple of videos coming up. I have two wig reviews and I have uh, one, one wig review was sent to me from a, um, a wig company that I'm going to review and that's actually wigs.com. And the other wig I purchased, and I purchased that on clearance from Wig Studio once. Amazing product. I love it. So those two wig reviews are coming up. And the video that many of you have asked about, about concealers, is coming up. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about is um, concealers. You know, eyes, nose, <laughs> a ton of concealers. So, anyways, um, this this will be my my last chatty video i think you'll probably see a wig review during the week but this will be my last chatty video before thanksgiving so i'm going to wish you all however you celebrate it i hope that you can at least have your loved ones around you even if you do it electronically in some ways maybe do a skype call or a zoom call or a google meet out or a facetime or whatever there's so many different ways we can stay connected with our loved ones, even if they're not physically in the same room. But stay safe, stay healthy. And um, that COVID test was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was really thinking this is going to hurt and I was going to cry and I was going to faint. And they're going to be picking this 66-year-old lady up off the floor. Thank God. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Oh. Please, 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 if you have joined me here on my channel, please consider subscribing. I sometimes forget to mention that. I would really, really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. And even if you don't want to leave a comment, give me a thumbs up. That would go a long way. Thanks so much. Happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.